O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. First mighty maker whose command raised from the sea the solid land and drove each billowy heap away and bay the earth stand firm for hay that so with flowers of gold in you the seeds of each might, might renew and fruit trees bearing fruit might yield, and pleasant pasture of the field. Our spirits rankling wounds efface with dewy freshness of thy grace, that greet might cleanse each deed of ill, and o'er each lust may triumph still. Let every soul thy law obey, and keep from every evil way. Rejoice each promise good to win, and flee from every mortal sin. O oh, Father, that we hast thee done, through Jesus Christ thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and three doth live and reign eternally. Amen. God is crowned as Christ with victory. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. He give your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed. Will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord, give answer on the day we call. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God has crowned his Christ with victory. We celebrate your mighty works with songs of praise, O Lord. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. Uh, you came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. 
we shall sing and praise your power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We celebrate your mighty works with, with songs, songs of praise, O Lord. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. O oh, Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O oh Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seal. For you were slain with your blood you purchased for God. Men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation, who have made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is a lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. See what love the Father has bestowed on us in letting us be called children of God. Yet, that is what we are. Dearly beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall later be has not yet come to light. We know that when it comes to light, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Your faithfulness will never fail. Your promise stands unshaken. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Amen. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Let us praise Christ the Lord who lives among us, the people he redeemed, and let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, King and Ruler of nations, be with all your people and their governments. Inspire them to pursue the good of all according to your law. Lord, hear our prayer. You make captive our captivity to our brothers who are enduring bodily and spiritual chains. Grant the freedom of the sons of God. Lord, hear our prayer. May our young people be concerned with remaining blameless in your sight, and may they generously follow your call. Lord, hear your prayer. May our children imitate your example and grow in wisdom and peace. Lord, hear our prayer. Accept our dead brothers and sisters into your eternal kingdom where we hope to reign with you. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for bringing us safely to this evening hour. May this lifting up of our hands in prayer be a sacrifice pleasing in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust in hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince, St. Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I abandon myself in your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself. To surrender myself in your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence. For you are my Father. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Deliverer. And for thy name's sake, O Lord, free us. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Hasten to us with thy compassion, for we are become exceeding poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints. Deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Well, tonight begins our uh, period of um, uh, adoration with uh, Project Mercy. There will be a little bit of a change of the order of the way they normally do the devotion. There will be uh, first uh, Holy Mass tonight with Monsignor Golosinski offering the Mass. And then following the Mass, there will be uh, Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and the 40 Hours Devotion, uh, which will, in this case, be 40 hours of consecutive hours of sustained adoration uh, except for times in which Mass is being offered. Uh, people will be here um, uh, uh, to adore. and we're, We want um, a good, strong turnout, minimally four people at all hours, um, day and night, so as to be able to adore our Lord and to pray and petition for an end to abortion. This is very, very important, especially in this time as our national elections are um, and at all levels of government, but the general elections are nearing and um, there's so much at stake for the sanctity of human life and we need to do our part humanly but we must get on our knees and beg Almighty God. You know, I'm reminded of the, Moses uh, gathering the people of Israel and presenting to them the covenant that God offered to them. And uh, when he presented the people with the covenant, they had to ratify it. They had to give their consent and their commitment to this covenant. And he said, you know, if you... Uh, the Lord says, if you keep his commands and follow his teachings and his ordinances with fidelity and with care and devotion, 
you will have prosperity, you will have an abundance of life, you will live peacefully in your land. Uh, but, but if you uh, choose to reject this covenant and live in uh, ways of sin and, and all, of, all that goes with that, uh, then you will have bring terrible misery upon yourselves and your, and your people. And so Moses exhorted the people, choose life. Choose life. And that's so important for who we are as a people who are covenanted to God through the sacrament of baptism. We hold our own lives as precious and, and a great gift and a great trust. And yet it is not a life to be lived selfishly. It's a life to be lived for others. And we have such, uh, on one hand, a great responsibility to protect and defend the weakest and the most vulnerable um, in the world in which we live. And who are more vulnerable, who are weaker than the unborn child in their mother's womb? Um, and at the same time, we have the great privilege of standing up for and protecting and defending innocent human life. And so let us be a people who uh, put our faith in action in the voting booth. But before we get there, let us pray to Almighty God in humility and adoration on our knees with adoration, petition, contrition, and thanksgiving. And uh, to do so as a people who know ourselves as covenanted God. And through these exercises, these spiritual exercises, the 40 hours of devotion, attending Holy Mass, participating in Vespers and other forms of devotion and prayer, that we make ourselves uh, cooperate with God's grace, the grace that he wants to lavish upon us and make us instruments of his mighty works of renewal of the world in which we live. There are so many evil things going on around us, so many threats, and so many who are, are trying to intimidate and bully uh, and push their way in the ways of evil, lies and deceptions uh, and so forth that are happening. Friends, we can't put off standing up for what's right and good. And so I exhort you and encourage you and invite you and plead with you, seize upon this opportunity. Let us make sure that every hour has good, strong representation of faithful believers here in these pews adoring our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament during these 40 hours. And through this, opening ourselves to be strengthened by the grace of God in that covenantal relationship in which we can ab avoid being brought to terrible misery and suffering for others as well as for ourselves, but, but rather to be brought to celebrating the beautiful gift of life the life that God holds out for us to live it well and fruitfully on this earth and ultimately to come to fulfillment in his heavenly kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii heve, a te suspiramus, gementes et plentes, in hac lacrimarum valve. Eha ergo, advocata nostra, he lost to us misericordes oculos ad nos converten. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui nobis post hoc exilium ostente. O